meat sauce for pasta. And it really is good. This time I made it with uh, the peeled, two big cans of those peeled tomatoes. And then the secret ingredient is this Rotel diced tomatoes and green chilies. I put a can of that in. It's got 93% lean beef uh, and half of an Italian sausage uh, roll which is ground Italian sausage it's spiced up and stuff uh, only a half any more than that would overpower the sauce so I put that in and it's a basil sauce you can see if you look close enough you can see the basil leaves see how it's bubbling that's what you want you don't want to you know over burn it or overcook it you know you gotta don't rush it okay so anyway so we got this stuff on the stub here and then we'll put the lid back on that it's almost ready and then I got a big pot of of water you have to have a lot of water when you do pasta and you use, put some salt in there see oh boy that really boiled down I had more hmm I don't know man I gotta put a little bit more water in there uh, yeah so I haven't made spaghetti for a long time so I you know I had the urge to get all the stuff that's that's needed and uh, I could have bought a real green pepper but the Rotel has everything in it uh, and it, it's very good it makes the sauce good so we got that going and um, oh I wanted to show you I got the, uh, the the cinnamon candle that's a good one I'm not gonna burn it yet it's not yet time to burn and I just I just love these little owls that I got look aren't they the cutest things yeah they're just really cute I like them silly but you know it's all right put that on the Christmas tree and now this little silver tree over here is not it's not it's I got ornaments for it but the real Christmas tree that I bought today is still in the box and there's some bulbs I bought new ones brand new that green one with the red stripes is really pretty and then some new hooks and some garland to go on it so <clears throat> some of my bulbs are pretty old and so you know you gotta get new things you can't just always have the old stuff you know um, before I go this is just a little quick little to go through my housey and then we'll go in the bedroom here and, experienced attorney, such as and this cat Call the one clear choice. is happy she she had fancy feast and whenever she eats fancy feast she cleans the plate so um, anyway the little silver Christmas tree will go there once I get it I get it and decorate it and uh, it'll go there and if I can find some just a short string of lights to go on it you know would be nice I I just didn't have time to 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 look for those today but you know a little tree to look at in my in my room is comforting when I feel sick you know it's, it's, it's the way it goes sometimes but anyway so that's the deal uh, we're having I know spaghetti is fattening and you're not supposed to have it, but I, I only make it rare nowadays, maybe once every couple months and stuff. I just, you know, I heed to the warnings, but, you know, sometimes you just have to live, and that's what I'm doing. So, that today is was holiday stuff, buying stuff and getting ready. Uh, oh, I want to show you, here's the refrigerator here, see, and I'm going to open it, and there is the turkey. That's in there, and it will be ready. I'll take him out over the weekend and let him thaw slowly in the refrigerator, and he'll be all ready for next Thursday. So I just can't wait, because you know something? I love roasting a turkey. Uh, before I do all that, though, I'm going to the store tomorrow and buying the oven cleaner for that miserable stove. The oven really needs to be cleaned, so I'll get a can of that, spray that on, leave that on overnight, and then wipe it out the next day. It's just why all that gunk comes out 
if you leave it overnight um, I'll have a nice clean new oven to, to roast the turkey in so those are my plans for the next couple of days as a project which I'll t take some pictures of the project just for fun so have a nice day take care